Hey, it's Robin at PajamaAffiliates.com, and I'm going to talk a little bit about um, backlinks or the the best practices for um, getting backlinks on your website. Back way a long time ago, before the Panda and Penguin update, everybody talked about backlinks, and there's still a lot of gurus out there telling you that um, you need to build backlinks. Well, I'm you know I'm going to you know like write on a different site or do blog commenting and that kind of thing and I'm gonna just go ahead and tell you if gurus are doing that it's a part of the strategy that they're marketing and selling but I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you it's just not what it used to be um, you you the Google and the Panda update really did away with anything that you are manufacturing um, not naturally or not organically and just going out and writing on sites like these article directories or whatever. Um, number one, they don't even these article directories hardly even rank anymore. I mean, Google took them down. So why, why do you want to keep doing something that um, Google doesn't even like anymore? It's just not. It, it's it, there's there are better ways to build um, links, and I'm going to share two of those things with you. Um, if you if you've got this strategy of building backlinks by blog commenting, forum commenting, all that, um, you're it's way, 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 way out of date. So I'm gonna share two things with you that can really help you. Number one, a natural backlink is social media. And to get shares on social media you need to have good content um, good compelling content um, your titles need to be good your readability on your sites needs to be good you you know you, I mean if you don't know how to do that we have a course at pajama village called how to write a blog post that converts sales um, it covers way more than how to convert a sale and where to put your affiliate links to convert sales and things like that it covers you know how to make your post visually appealing I see people with posts out there and they have a paragraph you know paragraph after paragraph this long my head hurts and my eyes get tired and I click off and you can bet most people do unless you have just really got some awesome content you've got to break it up and make it appealing for your reader but anyway I know I jumped off the topic, which I often do, but social media, you want your stuff to be shared naturally on social media. Um, you know, Facebook, uh, you know, Twitter, and Pinterest is a traffic giant and a sales conversion giant for that matter in certain niches, niches, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, that is one, you know, powerful backlink that or linking practice. The other linking practice that I see probably 80% of bloggers don't do is interlinking relevant content within your own site, linking it together. It just builds this web for the spiders to crawl and and it tells Google that you know that you are relevant which is another thing about those panda and penguin updates. Every Google update is designed to improve user experience and you know relevancy is key relevancy is huge you you need to be relevant on your website you need to have content that is relevant to each other you know you can't be over here um i don't know writing about ink pens and then you know over here you're you're selling a treadmill i mean on the same website so good relevant content interlink together and we teach that in our keyword and SEO course on pajama affiliates it's a little mini course but this is powerful um, this practice alone will help you rank above your competition uh, I, I just can't say enough when you find a good keyword and you know and it's got it says it's got low competition but your keyword tool tells you you know the SEO power might not be that good if you've got some strong interlinking structure and good SEO interlinking structure on your site you can rank for keywords that you ordinarily could not so I just wanted to put this little um, 
you know, this little video up here um, trying to debunk this uh, myth about, or not myth, but the backlinks. Now, um, do let me say this here. If you can get a natural backlink, a really um, authoritative site finds your content relevant to theirs and likes it and links to it, yes, that is good. But that doesn't happen very often. Um, and you can't just go out there and solicit for that. Uh, it just doesn't work that way. So if that happens for you, hoorah, good for you. But as far as going out there and manufacturing your backlinks, Google's getting wiser and wiser to that. And I would recommend that you stop doing it. Okay? And I will talk to you later. It's Robin at PajamaAffiliates.com.